precise. No, there's nothing precise. Maybe Jeff is precise. There's nothing uh, precise. Like the closest to precise on this <laughs> I couldn't even make it through that. We didn't say you were, Jeff. We said you were the closest to. Closest I to started now. with precise and went, fuck, it's the wrong word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing Jeff is, is precise. precise. The other two are obtuse, I think, or no. the opposite of precise. Yeah, so one's just trying to wake up. So I'm going to call this grumpy couch and we're going to try sleepy couch. <laughs> Pull out, coach. <laughs> Oh, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. It's been a busy start to the year, but awesome. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. How about you guys? I, you know, what is, <clears throat> why does everyone need to fucking run right now? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. Run on the yeah, remember like gradual soft you know it's about like getting in shape so go get in shape stop like <laughs> i'm not getting in shape i'm just sitting in this damn chair now because all i keep doing is working so it's i know i've i've had uh mentally to force myself out the door to go to the gym but my buddy that i work out with we've been implemented a 50 dollar fine system so if you don't make it you're in for 50 bucks oh that's so, incentive so we drag our ass there. There's yeah. a lot of days where it would have been like a no-show day if it hadn't been for the 50 bucks. So Yeah, 50 bucks will do it, right? Yeah. I, I do it with Kenny. I'd make money, I think. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah, <laughs> I, think so. I think so. No, probably not. Yeah. No, it would piss me off. I'd, I'd hate to lose 50 bucks or something like That's that. That's just <laughs> it. Like, I am, I'm persistent. I'm not losing that bet. So Yeah, that would piss me off. <laughs> All right. And Kenny, you're, uh, you're judging at CHFA? Yeah, they asked me to do it again. It was the third time I've done it. Nice. That'd be it's fun. kind of fun, right? I mean, I like you all. It kind of it makes me feel like a, a buyer again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at the CHFA event here in Calgary the other night. It was a pretty good turnout. They oh, good. Had like a uh -huh. mixer, cocktail -y type of thing. It was good. Oh, good. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, yeah. it's, it's a good group, right? I mean, they, I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's been, you know, like with Aaron and Lindsay and, and the rest of the team, like, I don't know. They really changed it. I mean, it it, it was it wasn't a bad um, organization by any stretch prior, but I mean, the change in the last three years has been like, in my opinion, it's, it's been remarkable. I mean, it's really they've really turned it like literally three hundred and sixty. I mean, it's like they've spun it a few times, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a yeah. it's more practical as an organization for what people are willing to Fly pay membership for, or fly to Vancouver and absolutely you know, hotel prices for or whatever you know absolutely. It's like, it's, yeah so i think it's good i really do i think i think they've done a really really good job and they should be uh i don't know they, I, to my head they should be really proud of themselves and really happy i mean i think they've really really turned it and it's, it's becoming a, a very useful thing i mean I, I always tell people if you haven't joined you should i mean it's not a plug for chfa today this is a grumpy couch, yeah not, not a nice couch yeah 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 exactly yeah it doesn't fit the <laughs> theme can we restart <laughs> So Why are you guys so damn cheerful? cheerful? How are we gonna backwards. do grumpy couch if you're all gonna be so damn cheerful? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a light switch, Phil. You can turn it on pretty quick. Grumpy, like that. grumpy comes out real quick. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, no problem. So I, I won't disclose um brand or anything like that, but literally like 15 minutes ago, the message I got was our shit just got real. I think it's happening. Do you mind if I call? Right. And so kind of like what we were kicking around, this guy who works for this company called and said, listen, so we're starting, you know, we think the owner's in a bit of denial. We don't know how we're going to make payments this month. Um, yeah. so we started kind of walking around the office, you know, kind of like, trying to get staff to start thinking about like where you might want to be if not here yeah right? and he's doing it and he's like look these people i love these people we, we hired you know the best that we could afford and so the owner is in denial the owner is literally like no i i think you know I, i'm gonna go out, I'm, I'm sure i'm gonna get some more money somewhere and he's like think this is irresponsible like i one i don't think you should go out and get more money i think that's irresponsible because we're here because we got money and we can't pay it back and then two is i just don't think you're going to get more money i don't think the environment's there for it right and so he started he and the office manager starting to walk around and kind of go 
listen, guys. <laughs> it, you, yeah, dust it's, off it's, resume. It's, it's really yeah. shitty, right? Like you well, kind of go. headcount is, you know, is what's going to fix the problem. Because it's the easiest, it's, it's the easiest expense and it's the immediate one. Like it no, 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 no. You know, but this is not what too bad. It's it's more like there is no fixing for this problem. So this so then we're heading, we're just we're gonna shut it down. We're we're heading to a shutdown. So you guys need to think about where else you wanna be. Um, you know, and I thought it was really timely. Yeah. Um, because of what we wanted to talk about. But that yeah. was the call. Like I think I've gotten a few not that like that's very dark like that's right at the end but i've gotten a couple of like do you have any answers like what, what do you think we should do here right like i've gotten yeah. a bunch of these that i'm like yeah oh, God, like i don't know yeah we you know but like we've been at this for 13 years it was only last year that we had mm -hmm. we got two um restructuring letters in the mail from clients that owed us money that you know Basically, we were at the bottom of the list behind everybody. Um, and, you know, there's there's been a substantial amount of people that we've had to chase a bit. You know, the, the pressure's on out there. I get it. But it's uh, what what's interesting in this whole thing is that, you know, a lot of smaller businesses are clients of smaller businesses. And that can be kind of snowball-y as well. Yeah, I, I, you know, listen, you know, I work for two food distributors, right? And one of them uh, a little heavier in food service um, and food service is definitively struggling like restaurants, cafes, small bars yeah. um, are, are, are struggling. But now many were struggling probably pre COVID yeah. to be very frank. Um, definitely post COVID because if you're shut down for three months out of, out of 12, I mean, may not, you know, you, you know, a large corporation can weather that storm potentially, but if your whole world exists because people come into your establishment, not the problem, you know, and, and then I, I don't think they ever really bounce back. I don't, I don't think any of them really kind of. Yeah. Got out of the mess that, 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 that was that, you know, and then it was staffing issue, then it was supply issues. And then there's, you know the inflation like there's a multi i did seem i think i think it was this one it was it was the worst of all storms it wasn't even a perfect storm it was beyond that like right. so much shit hit at once that we've never seen like this i mean i, I don't know <clears throat> yeah it's it's uh it's really interesting like i think like you said kenny i think there's so many businesses that were on the precipice i think what COVID yeah. showed us was like there's a lot of businesses out there that are literally hand to mouth every month you know literally. just you know, and that was, you know, in the healthy times, go back to the last boom, you still had companies, a whole bunch of them that are just barely making it go of it. I mean, yeah. you know, the the grumpy part of this, if I can interject it in here. Um, yeah, we're still somber. We went from happy to somber. Yeah, now, <laughs> it's, now it's grumpy, but I mean. Grumpy's coming. <laughs> it's coming. But I mean, like, I, I've just been, like, honestly, um often furious in the car listening to the radio or watching the news or whatever where you know now now it's like oh you know the the SIBA loan is up you have to repay it and now everybody it's like we want an extension or we want the government to wave the wand and just make it go away and i'm like you know what that's not fair to the businesses who have paid it back who well, are you, unless you're going to give the money back yeah right yeah and you know like the the reality is you know it was sort of a, a bit of a fire drill in my mind because it wasn't like the government of canada said you need us you needed to pay us back like in full on this date what was passing was the free money went away right. and now the loan is turning into a actual interest bearing loan at five percent or something like that and now everybody's panicking and i think there were some vultures uh, for lack of a better word who you know jumped in and said well we'll finance that so you can get your free twenty thousand dollars um but we'll finance it at crazy rates right, right. And it's, it's everybody's jumping on the the opportunity but i mean it just the it seems disingenuous when you have industry associations <laughs> jumping on to the media saying the sky is falling you know, I heard one that said like half the business, or no, sorry, it was 20%, one in five businesses in Alberta 
would no longer exist in nine months if the government made them pay back their SIBA loan. I'm like, yeah. you know what? See ya. Uh, and, and I only say that because it's not healthy to have all these companies running around and other companies supplying them and then they go under and you're in, they're on the hook for the money. Um, right. You know, they're on the hook for the bad receivable. Well, potentially you're just going to make it worse, Jeff, because if they yeah. can't, and, and you know, listen, I, I know some of those businesses too. Like, I think we all yeah. do, you know, yeah, and, and do. people got to understand, you know, the structure was we were going to give you 40 that you were going to pay back yeah. and we'll give you an additional 20 that, um, that if you start paying stuff, if you back, pay back you the 40, yeah. in essence, we'll give you the 20. Right. And it's yeah. great. We, we, they took a lot of people took the money for valid reasons because they needed that they bridge because their businesses were closed. So they're trying to pay yeah. rent still because not every landlord like like in our coffee and the yeah, the coffee bar. We didn't get the, the break. Our right. landlord, didn't, we didn't we didn't we paid rent. We yeah. were closed. Our, yeah. our business went from 100 percent to 25 percent capacity overnight. Yeah. So we had nothing, right? I mean, and we were still paying full rent, yada, yada, yada. So ultimately we had to close it because it just, it just died. Right. Right. But you know, you took, you took, you took the money, you knew, you knew, you knew what you were, well, in theory, I guess, you know, what you're doing. And I appreciate that at the time we got the money, we're at one or 2% and that payback time we're at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12% in some cases. Yeah. Like, I, I don't what like what, like the magic wand has been waving in the air for four fucking years right now. The printing press has not stopped running. Like sooner yeah. or later, I mean, I'm, and I, you know, I lost the business in that time too. Yeah. You know, sometimes shit yeah. happens. Yeah. But like how much more money and how much more time do, do, do we, do we do? And yeah. I, I mean, I think that sound may sound callous, but at the end of the day, like it's, you know, you're still responsible for the money. I'm sorry, that was that was the deal. Yeah, and you know, just because it comes from the government doesn't mean that it's free or it should be negotiated well, to free, free at some point. Your and, money, my money, and their money. Yeah, and you know, we lost. You know, in in COVID, we lost eighty percent of our business that year. Um, I guess there's nothing. It was then. lean times, you know, and we took the money and it helped us keep people on payroll and we retooled and kind of were inventive a bit. But I mean, when I signed that contract at CIBC, I knew what I was getting myself into. So did we, we paid our loan back. Yeah. You know, same and, reason, and, because I mean, that was the deal. That sort of, that was the deal. And I didn't want to be like on one of the business we did. We didn't want to be on the hip for 60 grand. Yeah. As it was getting closer at the rates that we were thinking, we thought, screw this. Let's, we got to, we got to just get out of this. So at yeah. the end of the day, now if we're all going to pay us all back. Fine. But who's paying all the payback even now? Yeah. Like what is the no, stop? I I, right. Well, yeah, you know, it, it kind of becomes like the companies that did pay it back are now paying it back for others because it's it's in our taxes at the end of the day. Like, I mean, exactly. it's not free money. It's not doesn't exist out there. I think what's also interesting, I mean, I fully expect there might be hate mail around this grumpy coach for me. But I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> Phil and Kenny can put my address on the screen. I don't get much mail. I only get flyers these days, but, um, you know, the, what strikes me though, is that in a situation today where in that industry, uh, let's, we'll take food service just as an example. It's but the one that's going to be the most hit buddy. It is. That's the one's right. going to have the problem. Yeah. yeah. It's like, there's a lot of businesses that are struggling. There's a lot yeah. of businesses that are really close to the cliff. There's a lot of businesses that can't find labor. So essentially what you've got going is a really inefficient system where you've got places that are doing well that need labor, can't get it. And there's a lot of labor who's working at another place. establishment that's on the edge. And you, you've got the temporary foreign worker program that has its own issues and problems all over the place. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe there, maybe we are over restauranted, maybe we are over retailed, you know, and, if some of the weaker ones were to go by the wayside, that might make other businesses stronger because they'll be able to get the labor that they need. I don't know. Well, you would think that labor has to go somewhere. So if right. 10 restaurants on your street are all struggling with labor and six of them are just struggling financially, let's, you know, we appreciate, we're, we're talking people here. I'm not talking yep. widgets. I get it. 
But if six closed, those people have to go somewhere. Well, the four that are viable and working needed bodies. Right. But could the bodies not just go over? You would think. And if anything, now make those stronger because maybe that guy can stay open longer. They financially hey. were already getting the game. They could stay but, but open I'm, longer. I'm grouchy. Off more. That, that makes me grouchy because I, I don't I don't think that we have a government that's thought about any of those shifts at all. Like I think no, like I, I think part of, part of yeah. this is us, right? So the industry itself, we went, we got money. Let's go get it. Let's, you know, make stuff happen, right? The the way all of us knuckleheads do this, right? So Kenny, I are yeah. no different. Let's make sure this happen. Let's go, right? And it doesn't go. So it doesn't go. But I don't think, I feel like the other thing that we're paying for now that we said during the pandemic even was, whoa, where are we getting all these funds from, right? Like, let, let's just, let's just, let's just slow down. Up. Okay, let's not slow down. Let's, let's keep going, right? Like, and then we, um, started to come out the other side. It was just as difficult coming out the other side. We didn't slow any of this stuff down. And now we're like, well, now we're, we're amazed. We, we, what's we, happened? we pitched ourselves into a wall and we're kind of wondering why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why my face is smushed up against the wall and it hurts a little, right? Like we, we also don't have like Kenny and I talk about this a lot on the show is that we, we would love to see like, us start to do things locally right like we, we need local suppliers we need local farmers but i don't like there are no programs out there like if i want to become a farmer how the f do i do that like there's no i lose mm. all my jobs today i'm not equipped at all to be a farmer like nobody wants me farming by the way but yeah. <laughs> but uh a different <laughs> yeah that's a different podcast maybe but yeah you yeah. know that's the other grumpy part of this right but you can't you can't fuel things like you know you got a certain pot of money well in government there there is apparently no bottom so the pot just perpetually full but you know if you don't put it here you can put it there like it's the same thing it's it's there's it's it's finite resources and you can't keep you you, you can't fuel what can't be fueled yeah like you got sooner or later we got it we got it and again i know and i appreciate we are talking people so i get it you know and and like people on this podcast lost things during you know the shit show yeah. of the pandemic too so yeah. it's not absolutely you know i'm not talking from you know yeah. a, a castle on a mountainside looking down at the peasants we're the peasants exactly. yeah right we're all in the same yeah. we're all in the same boat here we're trying to yeah. figure this out but what we're trying to do is i mean i i, I think you're jeff i think before we got on the, the reason we started this one it was really just to take responsibility for what you what you what you owe yeah someone has to yeah because it's screwed or, up the system like banks aren't aren't giving you know what but people don't understand you can't if you're a business it's really tough to get money from banks right now why because nobody's paying back the other money and then banks right. don't want to be on the hook for it but then yeah. it's, you're, you're just perpetuating this problem that it's hard to find funds and there's legit businesses that just need just a little bridging i think yeah. that the problem i'm having is a lot of these associations and god bless them because i know what they're trying to do and they're advocating for the people but a lot of these business you can you can't you can't lifeline forever yeah and i'm not yeah. convinced a lot of this business we could give them a hundred grand and i yeah. think next year you know what they need a hundred grand you're thinking but i just gave you the hundred grand yeah no, yeah there's, like an, it, there's a bad an idea point. is a bad idea or a bad model is a bad model right? exactly like, i mean maybe sometimes yeah. it's just not a viable business yeah yeah exactly and i think like that's like honestly like i you know i grew up in a family like from age three that ran a very small business and there were very lean times and there were good times and you know you kind of bootstrap your way for i understand the emotional attachment you know and and the what it means to a family to have this business you know we were in our business for 19 years <laughs> before we turned in the towel actually you know it's the same thing it wasn't um and it hurts to to give it up. I, I don't mean to minimize yeah. that, but I, I mean from a pure, you know, just being a realist, you can only keep putting water in a leaky bucket and it's still gonna leak. You know, you either exactly. plug the leak by making it better, right? You fix the problem of the business, or if the, the leak cannot be fixed, you throw the bucket away. And that's really callous to say, but that's kind of a practical advice. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this has been a 
happy, then somber, then grouchy. <laughs> and then back to sort of somber and again. Slightly it's philosophical, topic, right? But yeah. Slightly, slightly philosophical Friday couch. Yeah. That's amazing. Yikes. Yeah. That Thanks. was a yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole lot in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this might be the last grumpy coach because we probably yeah, lost half our be. listenership and whoops, yeah. and we're all into hate mail in the next ten minutes or cancel. No, but, but, so. but it is something. Look like it. it's it's not the first or the last time we're going to have this conversation. This is going to be a tough year. We've been saying it yeah. for a long time. We can see it coming. I think the news is starting to catch up to that, and it's going to be fairly sensational. But. Look, it's going to be a tough year, right? So you just yeah. Need so to you're going to have to you're going to have to get ready for it, right? Yeah, make some decisions. Talk about Philippines and some right. of the brands, right? You know, it's not it's not a year for it's not necessarily the the best year coming for probably premium brands, small premium brands. If, if you're not going to do a ton of volume this year, I think it's going to be a yeah. yeah. It's yeah, going yeah, to maybe the penny tougher. pinching year. You might want to be in the mid or lower end of the world just to get through this year, or you're going to have to well. You, you should be thinking about protecting oh, wow. yourself this year. So expanding is mm -hmm. a good thing usually, but this year is about protection probably, right? Probably. You keep your contacts yeah. safe, keep your supply chain safe, like- Go deep, no lie, baby. Slowly, <laughs> steady, slowly, steady, right? Yeah. Like probably not a great year for a huge risk, so. Yeah, anyway. Exactly. That good is stuff. the grumpy coverage. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Awesome.